Hello, Internet! My name's Joe Bot, and Spooky's here. Say hello, Spooky. Hello. And we are back with Asago Academy. Asago, Asago, Asago. Asiago. Asiago. You know, Iago's Academy from Aladdin. Gilbert Godfrey. But uh, we have finally made it into the Academy, and boy, words, words, and more words. Sorry, I'm busy. My cat wants my attention. Yeah. Uh, you read this the last yes. last part, so let's... It seemed like everyone knew each other. I followed Mai as she led me through the maze of students and up two flights of stairs. Each dorm floor looked the same as the last. Narrow white doors lining both sides of the pale pink walls. Thin gold numbers were tacked to the front of each. Numbers rising as we climbed. Yeah, you're not missing anything with the campus tour, I promise. Miss Satomo does them every year and she's like totally dull. He just drag Mr. Yeah. Whoa, I just gave Mr. some boobs. Uh, he just drags you around the entire campus and talks in that weird squeaky voice of his. Squeaky voice? Good luck with that. I'll tell you everything you need to know, and my cat is scratching my leg. <laughs> I smile, trying to let this calm my nerves. Thanks. <laughs> we headed down the hallway to the third floor. My stopped in front of a door number 325. Hi, cat. <laughs> That's what we get for letting the cat in the room. Yep. We might be recording with Merlin, which is one of Spooky's cats. The, the the attention whore of the group. Yeah, they they kind of get mad if we close the door and lock them out. So we're like, okay, you can be in the room, just uh, chill. And the cat's like, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Oh my. So stereotypical girls room. Is that is that no Alvin Stein? But I say, is that Markiplier? I don't think so, and yeah. It'd be scary. Didn't she say she was gonna wait to hang up these lights? What a bitch! She's already lying to us. <laughs> You're scaring the cat. I'm sorry. A faint smell of potpourri wafted through the room. The walls, like the hallway, were a soft, powdery pink. <laughs> My already defaced them with a ta tapestry of posters, magazine cutouts, and photographs. Apparently, all students' beds come equipped with a plush bunny rabbit. Some of the photos were of cats, but most were male models and rugged musicians. A bunk bed, two, two writing desks with wooden chairs, a small dresser, and a mirrored vanity all clearly provided by the school were the only pieces of furniture in the tiny room. Two students, one desk? Well, they said two writing decks, so maybe the other writing desks sell them all right, to our opposite back. perspective. The top bunk was already covered in neatly tucked blankets and throw pillows of clashing patterns and colors. Uh huh. Sounds like me. Uh, the bottom bunk had a single stiff looking pillow and a thin cotton blanket that I didn't need to touch to know how horribly it was horribly itchy. I must have grimaced because Mai quickly smiled at me. I thought... I brought... I, I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpacked. I went to Italy over break and Mom got really mad at me because I brought five bags, but we were only there for a week. <laughs> she laughed and pulled several blankets and pillows from her bunk and rearranged them neatly on mine. A sudden twinge of guilt and embarrassment hit me. I didn't prepare at all. There. That's much better. <laughs> Thanks, Mai. I placed my suitcase on the bottom bunk and began to unpack its contents. Several changes of clothes, pens and pencils, empty notebooks, a few photographs of my father, a dilapidated stuffed rabbit, an old portable radio, and a small black box. Oh, so she had magically unstuffed the rabbit, uh, unpacked the yeah. rabbit before she walked into the room. I unpacked before I walked in the room! <laughs> Still my scaring cat, your cat. My cat is now staring at Joe like he is nuts. I am nuts. Which is not far from the truth. Yeah. 
Uh, Maya, Maya opened the curtains and the sunlight poured in. Oh no. <laughs> I was gonna sneeze. Spooky was giving me the pause symbol like she desperately needed a break. I'm like, okay, well, alright, stop. Oh shit. I gotta move stuff around. I gotta get the task bar open. And she's like, uh, 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 fucking nothing. <laughs> It's a boarded sneeze. I hate those. All right. <laughs> so. Oh God. I still have the feeling. Oh man. <laughs> so where are you from? I slid the now empty suitcase under the bottom mug. About two hours north of here. It's a small town called. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a risu. I'm a risu. <laughs> We're not Japanese. I'm sorry if we're ruining your language, Japan people, but I'm a Ririsu. I think it's our A M A Amari Risu. Well, I think something has to be silent. We just don't know what it is. Amarisu. No, it's not that. Whatever. You probably haven't heard of it. Hey, at least she's smiling now. I said the stuffed rabbit. Mr. Bunny. That's very On my bed besides a purple and teal throw pillow. Oh. Did you go to a different boarding school or... No, I went to a public school down the street from my house. Public school? You're not rich? What the hell? And my cat has disappeared. So no, I'm... he's on top of my PS3 over there. He's just chilling where it's safe. <laughs> what was it like? Were the students mean? Did you have to take did you have a lot of friends? I always went to private schools. My parents work a lot and my dad goes overseas, so I think they stuck me here for convenience. Ouch. Oh, hey, what's that? I'd removed a ornately patterned origami crane from the black box and was setting it on the unclaimed writing desk. <laughs> oh, this? My mother made it for me a long time ago. I set it beside a stack of thick textbooks, which I assumed were provide provided for me. Aww. Wow, it's pretty. I've never seen paper like that before. You don't you don't know what origami is? <gasps> well, there's actually really expensive origami paper that's like Engraved with gold and stuff. I'm assuming it's just really fancy origami paper. <laughs> oh yeah, the lights. Let me get them. They're already the on the wall. The lights that are there. You you don't even know what you did or what you didn't do. Maya went to her own desk and opened uh, the drawer and pulled out a long tangled string of fairy lights. What? It's what they call them, lights. Okay. I thought these would look nice. Here, help me string them up. She grabbed a container of pushpins, then pulled her wooden desk chair out and over one wall. I did the same with my own. Together we pinned the lights around the perimeter of the room. Okay, so apparently it's going to get more lighty lighty in here. <laughs> Maybe. How was the train ride over? Did you meet anyone? Um, no. Bullshit it! Not really. I was in a compartment with some guy and... And he started to sparkle and he didn't tell me his name. Some guy, huh? Was he cute? Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Bullshit. I didn't even get his name. My seems disappointed for a moment, then perked back up. You'll have to point him out to me if you see him again. Uh, okay. I must know every human being you have ever come into contact with. Once we finished stringing the lights, Mai climbed down from her chair and brushed her hands against, or brushed her hands together triumphantly. And cat, say, where were you going with that one? My cat is now shelf cat. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Done. Woo. -hoo. <laughs> okay, now it's time for lunch. The food here is pretty good. There's this ramen place down the street from campus that's like out of this world, but. 
The school only lets us leave campus on weekends. I don't know if the, the ramen places would let this lady into there. You're not supposed to talk when you go into, like, ramen stores. You're just supposed to sit down, order your food, eat, and then leave. I don't know. I don't live in Japan. I've never actually gone to a authentic ramen place. Yeah. The only ramen I get is the cup of noodle crap. Noodle crap. <laughs> That's loaded with sodium. Maya walked to the window. We could go today because it's Sunday, and it's pretty nice out. But I guess you might want to go to the calf since you just got here. We. C <laughs> she was suddenly interrupted by her own enthusiastic laughter. Oh, she's just straight up insane. That's what's going on here. That was like a yaw dairy laugh. I've heard those. I know what that sounds like. Oh my gosh. Mimi Santos totally just tripped outside and fell on her face. I saw it. Oh, so you're a mean bitch. <laughs> oh, is that mean to laugh? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, you really shouldn't have. Oh well. Anyways, let's go eat. I'm totally starved. She led me out of the room before I even had a chance to respond. Eh, it looks like a nice cafe. The cafeteria was buzzing with students excited for the new year. The only people as nervous looking as I felt were the tables of skittish wide-eyed first years. Mm. I stepped into line behind my making, taking an empty plastic tray. We shuffled through asking for helpings from the sulky cafeteria workers when we passed something that looked good. With full trays, my led me straight to a table in the back where a few students were already sitting. Mai sat down and I took a seat across from her. Oh god, more... More, more checks! Come on, come on, I don't want to read all the checks! <laughs> huh? My? How was your break? Hi, not a huh. Hi, Mai. How was your break? I've got red demon eyes. <laughs> it was good. I went to Italy and Spain. Dad fell off of a ski jet and broke his ankle. <laughs> Fuck him. I mean. <laughs> By the way, you're totally channeling Metaton right now. <laughs> it's better now, though. Oh, well, that's nice. I expected to be introduced, but the girl turned back to her group of friends, and my turned back to me. She began to assault her food with a fork and tell me, in practically a minute-by-minute account, about her fleeting romance last summer with a boy she met on the beach that didn't go further than a week, a few salty kisses. Okay. Because the beach is salty? Har har. I sat back and let my talk. For the first time since arriving on campus, I felt like I was finally able to breathe. I picked up my Brussels sprouts and studied my since she spoke, as she spoke. Brussels sprouts are not food. They're, they're like vegetative rocks that you're not supposed to consume. Alright. What are you looking for, Smokey? My cat. Oh, we went that way. <laughs> My cat is all wandering. The more she talked, the more I began to notice small details about her. Oh, God. Here we go with more descriptions. She had a high songbird voice. And she's worried <laughs> that I'm reading it now, apparently. <laughs> what? She, wait. She can hear me. She was dynamic. Her face twisting the way... Uh, this way and that into exaggerated expressions as she spoke. She's totally a bitch for laughing at that girl who fell on her face. <laughs> she laughed often. She intimidated people in wildly unflatter. She imitated people in wildly unflattering voices, seemingly unrelated to her actual opinion of them. But most notably, she talked a lot. <laughs> I didn't find this particularly annoying as it filled the silence and she hardly ever asked questions that required my full attention. Just as my was rounding off a shockingly detailed account with the time she accidentally walked into her friend's older brother's in the act of changing, wow, a flash of familiar green caught my eye. I glanced over. Hey, that's him! Huh? Who? I'll make her sound like an owl. 
I leaned across the table to whisper, just in case he could hear me through the ambient chatter of the lunchroom. The boy from the train, that's him! What? Jared? Gerard. Oh. No, that said Jared. Jared, yeah. Or Jared. I get him confused, I'm sorry, internet! Just the pronunciations, okay. though. I know that uh, okay, the completionist seriously. has the beard, and, and Gerard does not. Wait. Jared doesn't. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, I was about to say, Jared has blonde hair, not yeah. even black. Um, yeah, with that weird green jacket and swoopy hair. He just picked up his tray and was walking past us when something seemed to catch his eye. Hmm? Oh, you. I looked up at him suddenly, realizing he wasn't, he was talking to me. Ha <laughs> I met you on the train. How are things settling down for you? <laughs> really well. I found my roommate and she's been helping me out. I gestured to Mai, who was thunderstruck. In fact, looking around, around, everyone was. People stopped eating to turn and stare at Jared and me. My shoulders bunched around my neck. Well, if you ever need any help, I'll be around thir third year, right? I nodded. All right. Some of my friends are in that year, of course. They can't compare to me, but I'll give them a heads up. To look, <laughs> I'll give them a heads up. To you can't tell that the author likes this one the most. The, the, the fact that they—they isn't it he that wrote this or she? I have no idea. Whomever put him on a pedestal. Yeah, he is definitely the one to be. He flashed a dazzling smile, then winked, and then a wish came true somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's the least I can do for such a cute girl. And then I exploded. <laughs> well, I'll see you around. Yep. <laughs> Sploosh! <laughs> the entire cafeteria is now flooded. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a torrent of thoughts raging through my head as he took a seat next to a bunch of guys who were all wearing the same jacket. <laughs> what is my cat trying to play with? Oh. Th th that's Jared! She tore her eyes away from him and looked at me. He's so cute. <laughs> Most beautiful guy in school. Oh, Jared. Oh my God, Jared. <laughs> did <sighs> Did you not get get it from the BC and the the vampire sparklies? I I didn't read the line yet. Oh, did you just read the lines already? I looked at my. Her cheeks were glowing in an incandescent pink. Why do they all wear those jackets? Aren't all guys supposed to wear blue blazers as part of their uniform? No, they're allowed to... to they're... <laughs> I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Question, question, question asked. You know Pro Jared? And it's the chick. Oh! <laughs> it's the Metaton chick. Mimi had turned back around and was looking... At me with the student in interest. Sudden. Oh. I. Did I know him? I only talked to him on the train for a few minutes, so not really. We weren't friends or anything. But looking around, my and the girl weren't the only ones who were interested. Everybody seemed to be listening. So, do we lie and tell the entire student body we're friends with this complete stranger to be popular? And then come watch it, try to support the lion, watch it come crashing down? No, we, we say we don't know him because we want John Tron. Yeah. <laughs> they seemed su so surprised when he talked to me. Maybe a little white lie couldn't hurt. Oh, here it comes. No, no, we do not. Oh, oh, this is you. Oh, you're just a poser. Oh, God, that face change. Yep. You, did, you didn't even read line. What she looked that? me up and down. She puffed and she walked away. My leaned toward me. Don't mind Mimi. She was just trying to get in with you. Get 
in with me? Why? She's a lesbian. No. Well, you asked me about those guys and their jackets, right? These are... Those are normal boots club jackets. Um, They're... What? What's normal boots club? And there they are, folks. Oh god, he's got a golden mirror and he's admiring himself. It's a club we have at school here. It's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students. We're apparently all guys. Penis club. Yep. They get together and play video games or something. And they make millions of dollars putting it on the YouTubes. Well, collectively millions of dollars, I imagine. Some more than others. That one right there is John. Also known as JonTron. His bird's name is Junk. And his bird is wearing a jacket. That is the best thing ever. <laughs> John is also the president of the drama club at school. Oh yeah, I, I support this. John has an amazing voice. <clears throat> Next to him is PBJ. He and John... G Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, way at, way at. Okay. PBG, he and John founded Normal Boots Club together. PBJ, uh, PB... <laughs> 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 I'm going to do this every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care. She's pinching me. I don't care. Anyway, internet, we've got, we got to stop because... We've reached the end of our, but our time here. we have to here. at least listen to the description of them all. Okay, but we're over on time. Oh, suck it. You told me to. Uh, PBG is one of the best soccer players on our team. <clears throat> then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty-bitty... Kitty collection I've ever seen. Next to him is Jared, also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. <laughs> then there's Satch Bag, but everyone just calls him Satch. He's like crazy smart. Those guys there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the school newspaper called Continue? Uh, so none of them do any kind of Let's Plays. In, in the normal boots. Okay. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. My cat is being absolutely adorable right now. <laughs> as he tries to play with recording wires. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did oh, you not know? Continue with reading! <laughs> and the guy on the end there is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone ever. Yeah, Shane does the, um, Did You Know Gaming. Ah. She exhaled, uh, she exhaled a dreamy sigh into our mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. Until next time, folks. All right, let's save the game. So long, Internet. <laughs>